Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm one of the founders of High Speed Low Drag. Along with John Lee Dumas, Tom Morcus, we've come together as veterans who are doing pretty well on the civilian world to give you information that can help you kick butt in the civilian world, make a great transition. Doesn't matter if you are just getting out or you're six months out or if you've been out for two decades. Gentlemen, the information and ladies, the information over at High Speed Low Drag is going to help accelerate your progress so you can kick butt as an entrepreneur, so you can get that job, so that you can succeed after your time in the military. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the number one reason why veterans fail. What do you think it is? Take a second, go down in the comments. Let me know. What do you think it is? What's the number one reason? Is it money? Is it time? Is it lack of skills? So, Write that, write that. Yeah, I love hearing from you guys in the comments, by the way. But it's none of those, actually. What it is, the number one reason why veterans fail is, no, it's not because they weren't Marines. We all know that Marines are going to succeed. But no, guys, the number one reason veterans fail is mindset. They come out of the military and they've got a reliance on structure too much structure. They've got a dependency on large-scale uh, support systems. They are used to going to a school to learn how to do something and then getting stuck into the position. And unfortunately, when you get in the civilian world, what you run into is a lot of chaos. Good buddy of mine, Ryan Masters, and he runs a free program called A Spartan Rises. You should go check it out. Uh, I talk about it in another video. But guys, one thing he noticed about all the military guys he's worked with is, wow, these guys are structured. They really have a setup for doing this. Entrepreneurs, business owners that have gone and worked with people on bases, they're like, wow, you guys really have a lot of systems here. This is amazing. We take it for granted when we're in the military and we're just used to, if we've got a pay issue, to be able to go over to the admin area, to the S1 shop and get it fixed. If we need some supplies, we'll go to the suppo and, or you know, supply chain. We'll make things happen. If we have a weapon issue, we go to the armory. We've got all this support structure and we're used to it. When you get out, especially if you've been in for 20 years, 15 years, guys, you don't have all of that support structure when you're in the civilian world. Yes, there's some of it, but a lot of it is most, almost all of it is paid for. And it's something that you're going to have to really change your mindset. So let's talk about improving your mindset so when you get out, you can kick butt. Number one is be open to new ideas and new systems. Just because the way things worked in the military, don't complain about it just because it doesn't work that way in the civilian world. Go out there, learn how it works in the civilian world. You're going to have to learn about health insurance. You're going to learn. have to learn about disability insurance. You're going to have to learn about mortgages and how to find the best deal in that area. Look at it as a new challenge. Yes, you're maybe a bit behind people that have been in the civilian world for 20 years, but you know what? You've got that. You can approach this systematically. You've got the work ethic. I've talked about this in the 13 advantages that you have. It's a separate video, but guys, you can very quickly catch up. And within a year, you're going to be passing people that have been doing this for 20. So be open. The next thing is to surround yourself with amazing people, successful vets, people that are making stuff happen. Some of these could be paid. Some of these could be professionals like finding yourself a lawyer, finding yourself an accountant, finding yourself a tailor who can help you dress better and improve your style. Guys, those are going to be paid consultants, but you can also surround yourself with, uh, with other veterans who are just simply ahead of you, have been out for five years, been out for 10 years. We want to work with other veterans and mentor them. Believe me, I, I'm always opening up my door to vets. And it's something that surround yourself with amazing people because we become the average of the people we surround ourselves with. Number three is continue to learn and to teach yourself. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. We'll never become an old dog. Always be thinking, okay, you know, I'm always wanting to expand my mind. You're 40 years old, go learn to ski. You're 50 years old, learn how to learn how to sew. Learn how I, I don't know, you know, I you're 20 years old. Go ahead and go out there and learn how to, you know, build how to work with wood wood. Have fun. Always be teaching yourself something new. I remember one of the most fun things I did when I was at the univer when I was stationed in Pensacola is I went and took some courses at uh, the University of South Florida. The real reason for taking it was, hey, that's where the ladies are at, so I'm going to go back to college. While you know they're not at the bars, uh, but what I did is I took a class on Buddhism. 
I took a class on women's studies. Yes, I did take a class on women's studies. And I can tell you, I was one of only two men in that course. Uh, but the point is, is I opened myself up and I was like, wow, this is actually pretty interesting stuff. And I had a lot of fun. You open your mind, always be looking to do something that when people see you doing it, they're like, Wow, I didn't know that he wanted to learn how to dance or that he wanted to learn how to sing. When you do that, you expand your mind, you open up doors, and you cause people to kind of scratch their head, and that's kind of cool. I remember growing up as a kid in Texas and learning that Herschel Walker, the running back for the Dallas Cowboys, was taking ballet lessons. And at first, you know, growing up in West Texas, that's like, what is this guy thinking? But then it made sense because he was learning how to better control his muscle movement, how to control his body. And if you have, if, if for some reason you've got a problem with that, I mean, that was Herschel Walker. I mean, that guy was an amazing athlete. And if he, it's, if he can do that, I think that we could learn something from it. So gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this. The number one reason veterans fail is their mindset. The number one reasons they succeed is their mindset. So make sure to shift yours, put it in the right direction. You'll find a way. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.